Hey guys, welcome back to Team Performance TV. Today we have a 2020 Infinity QX80. It had two scratches on this side, and we're going to respray the quarter panel and the door. So, this is going to be a continuation from the last video. The last video was just about painting. Today, we're going to show you what happens after the paint. So I skipped over the paint process, this is just the last coat of clear going on right now. Remember you want a 50% overlap just so you don't have hard lines when you're painting. You want even coverage throughout the panel. At Team Performance, if we paint your bumper or a hood or something small, we always do at least a one-step paint correction on the whole car just as a courtesy. I'm using the Makita Rotary Polisher with a heavy cut rubbing compound and a 3M buffing pad. This combination of machine, pad, and compound is very dangerous. If somebody who is not trained is using this, it will cut the paint very easily. We do this for all of our customers when they come to get a paint job. We want your car to look as best as it can when you leave the shop. This whole process takes a very long time. This is why when you come and get your car done, it'll take an extra day or so. With the rotary polisher, you want to keep it flat. If you start maneuvering and bending it, you're going to cause problems. It's going to dig into the paint, and you don't want that. The new paint is a lot harder to buff. It's a lot softer since it has to get wet sanded and it's not 100% cured. It will get cut so much easier than the old paint. So you have to take your time and go slow. You do small pieces of the panel at a time. If you go big, you just keep spreading the compound and it won't get uh, to finish you want it to get. Give me fuel, it's a tool that I use to go ahead and run my f out, yeah. I take shots, I take loss, I make shots, I miss lots. I tell you get big box, you get yachts, you swing lots, and pop off a big shot. I ain't done chasing, got big dreams, bigger things, impatient. Who's at the top think they need replacement? Who's at the top think I'm gonna erase that face it? I don't give up quick, I don't give up, I won't give up this. You're gonna see me go over this panel a couple of times. I wanna make sure there's no sandpaper marks and no scratches left on top of the clear. When you look at it, it must be a mirror when you're finished. This looks a lot easier than it is. This is a lot of back-breaking labor. I'm sitting in that position and moving back and forth. It starts to hurt on your lower back after a while. I probably spent about 20 minutes alone just on this one door, just to make sure there's no sandpaper marks.
Having two people work on the car at the same time helps a lot. To finish this big SUV, it would take a long time if just one person was doing it. So while I was doing one side, my dad was doing the other. Here I am on the back end of it now. A lot of people don't realize that in the rear of the car you get a lot of chemical fallout and brake dust and whatever buildup. The car looks silver, it looks clean, but it's rough to the touch. It's all nastiness that's coming from the road. With the contouring lines in the rear of this car, I had to go slow and take my time to do piece by piece. I definitely didn't want to cut the paint. I left the rear of the car for the last because I knew it was going to take this long. It was a giant pain to finish this, but it has to get done. When you're working around those sharp lines, you have to use the machine at a slow speed. The slower you go, the more control you have and the better your product will come out. Now you see how long this process is taking. When a shop charges a certain price, this is why. They're not charging because they want to, it's charging because of the amount of time and labor it's putting into it. This pad was white the entire time I was using it, up until I got to the rear of the car. That's all the gunk that pulled off the paint. Now it's smooth to the touch and the gloss is a lot better than it was before. Now it's time for the obligatory wheel wash. Yes, I am using the IK Foamer again. It works great. I strongly suggest you getting one if you're a DIY car washer. It saves a lot of time, it saves a lot of product, and it activates the soap more than just a regular spray bottle. After we finish buffing the whole car, we do have to wash it just to get the excess compound off. If you leave it on, it gets caked on and it's very hard to get out. After the wash, we apply a paint protectant. We used wax in this case. If you want coatings or any kind of sealants, we do that as well. Just, it's an extra cost, obviously. So we're back in the paint booth after the detail. You can see the paint color matches perfectly. The clear coat looks exactly the same as OEM. That's the kind of finish you want when you take your car to a shop. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. It'll be much appreciated. Thank you so much.